Sharpen. Masters of Surgical Education. How to inject local anesthesia for a carpal tunnel decompression. The patient is first marked. The distal extent of the incision is Kaplan's line, which is a line drawn from the ulnar border of the abducted thumb to the hook of the hammock. The proximal extent of the incision is the proximal palmar crease, and the incision is drawn in line with the ring finger. The flexor carpi radialis and palmaris longus tendons are also marked. The area is cleaned thoroughly to avoid transferring skin flora to deeper tissues. A very superficial bleb of local anaesthetic is injected initially. After giving this a few seconds to work, local anaesthetic is then injected subcutaneously from the area already anaesthetized, advancing along the incision line. The surgeon's finger palpates the tissue distally to feel for firmness as the local anaesthetic fills the tissue. The surgeon continues to infiltrate the anaesthetic until their finger can feel the firmness of the infiltrated tissue at the distal extent of the incision. The entire area around the incision should feel firm and look blanched when infiltration is complete. The needle is then withdrawn and through the already anaesthetized area directed ulna and deep to the palmaris longus to infiltrate the area around the antibrachial fascia to ensure the patient is comfortable when performing the proximal release. With the last two milliliters of local anaesthetic, the needle is directed towards the periosteum of the hook of the handmate, as this can be sensitive when using self-retainers, especially if operating alone. Finally, remember to be patient and allow time, if not using a tourniquet. Sharpen. Masters of Surgical Education.